Out there, it was a war. You were just seeing something totally brutal. I intend to make them grovel. That was a nasty series. I can remember Clyde said, never again. If we can find some fast bowlers, let us see how well they handle it. Oh, he's hit him. That may have broken his jaw. It wasn't going to take ordinary individuals to accomplish that. It's like a bullet. If there's something in front of it, you could be dead. We were called the four horsemen of the apocalypse. If we can't take the heat, get out. Our cricket spoke for us. Things were said and the colour of your skin came into it. No other team in any discipline anywhere in the world dominated their sport for 15 years. This was like slaves whipping the asses of masters. It is history that you'll never forget. Hi, this is Martin Day, and today we're at the Oval Cricket Ground. We're at the Indoor Sports Hall here, where um, I'm just about to face Devon Malcolm, uh, who used to play for England and also play for counties like Derby. Um, it's all to do with the film Fire in Babylon. If you haven't gotten to see it yet, uh, not to worry. It's out on DVD on Monday, the 6th of June. Uh, so uh, this morning, you're going to find out whether or not I can face Devon Malcolm. I haven't held a cricket bat for about 15 years, so I'm slightly nervous about this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I've worn the burgundy kind of maroon colours to kind of intimidate him. Hopefully. Shadow, tell them no, brother. I am not a bad boy, yeah. but I cannot help mm. it. No, no, tell them again. Mm -hmm. I said I can't help it. So here he is, Devon Malcolm, the England and county cricket player. He played with Derbyshire, amongst other counties. And uh, I just faced a few balls off you. How do you think I did? You did okay, but I tell you what, in the early days, man, you would have been mashed up in quick, quick success. But you did, you did very well. You did very well indeed, yeah. Fire in Babylon is coming out on the 6th of June. Uh, what did you think of the film when you saw it? Well, a fantastic film. As you said, uh, this was uh, on DVD on the 6th of June. And uh, what a great film it is. It's a must for anybody. You, that's got to be on the shelf. You understand? Because uh, the show for the build-up of West Indies cricket, awesome uh, um, side from the 70s right through the 80s. Um, you never, you'll never find another team dominate world cricket as much as those boys did. And even myself, a massive influence on my, you know, on those guys uh, um, had on myself. You said it came in and played for England in the end, but as a youngster growing up, most youngsters in my area heard of the mighty West Indies and listen to all those guys, Michael Holden, you know, Andy Robertson, all those guys. All I wanted to do was a fast bowler. You know, normally running as fast, faster than a ball, but you know, there was something special about fast bowling and those guys massively influenced you know, influenced myself as a fast bowler, you name it. Colin Croft, Ghana, all those guys, all I wanted to do. And as I said, um, you know, this is a must, really. You gotta get this DVD, put it on the shelf, and not only the, the cricket, but the, the history behind it as well. That's the main thing. You look to see where West Indies um, cricket came from, and you know, you talk of West Indies, but without the cricket, that's what binds the whole Caribbean. The Caribbean is independent, I, uh, made up of independent islands. But if, when it comes to cricket, that's what bind the whole Caribbean together, and those guys were just awesome, really. 6th of June, the DVD's out. Devon Malcolm, thank you very much indeed. Okay. Uh, God bless you. Welcome. No I need a drink now. <laughs>
my bat would have been my sword at that time. And it's people who you wanted to put it to.